Hello, I am Sulimar Montilla, and this is Market Logic. In Market Logic, we love marketing, but also we love to help other people to make your dreams come true, profitable and successful business. This is the second video about marketing fundamentals, and we will talk about the new marketing concept. We hope that this material can be useful for you and for your business. According to Philip Kotler, one of the worldwide marketing leaders, marketing concept has changed. This is the new concept. It's a process where companies create value to their customer, delight them, develop a strong relationship with them, and at the end, obtain financial value in a profitable way. This concept is so powerful that we want to highlight at least three key points. The first is that marketing is a continuous process. For this reason, it's possible to develop continuous improvement strategies. You have to measure it. You have to include key partners, a customer into the process. Marketing is dynamic, not static. The second point is that the sales and revenues are not the marketing primary goals. Maybe if a financial manager listens to this, Probably he will go crazy, but this is true. Revenues and growth in revenues will come to your business as a consequence of your marketing strategy has, has the capacity to attract, retain, and develop brands advocacy for your products or services. And finally, its primary goal is to build a strong relationships with customers. One of the principal goals that will guide your marketing strategy must be the building and preserve your customer relationships. Brands advocacy are a group of customers that are so linked to your brand that are happy and able to recommend it to others. We want to lend you some ideas to maintain a conversation around this new concept. What are the primary goals for your business or business idea? Have you defined clear objectives about customer retention in your marketing campaign? Could your marketing's KPIs measure how many new customers are attracted through recommendation of your actual customers? Do you believe that it's possible to measure the impact of an unhappy customer? And finally, what do you prefer? Attract new customers or retain actual ones? If you like, follow us in our social media as MarketLogy. See you soon on the next video where we will talk about the customer needs. Bye.